Papacita, te amo. Lo primero yo me digo, bésame. Señorita, te amo. Lo primero está por ir a hacer su mene. Puede cuestiones, mi amiga. Girl, you know that I love you. Guys, I'm Gina, Gina Oga, a new YouTuber and a Nigerian YouTuber to be pre to be precise. So guys, please subscribe to my channel. Please guys, you really need to help me out there. Help me subscribe, comment, like, share my video out there. Please guys, I really need your help. So today, I will be talking about some relationship issues and their solution bear it in mind i am not a relationship specialist so it's some idea that i think that maybe it might be helpful to someone out there that's why i want to talk about so that, that that's what i want to talk about sorry so number one relationship issue is cheating like guys cheating is the biggest relationship issue in this our generation this one cheat on this girls are cheap guys are cheap blah 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 that this one will say guys are the, the, the guys are the most in need guys that no relationship i think is both sides girls girls cheat guys cheat too but i think if we really if you are really god fearing person you won't cheat on your partner so guys girls out there boys out there if you really want i know you they will tell me that for we who told you that church girls someone that knows god that won't cheat too no it will not be like mm -mm. but trust me if you really want your relationship to be in peace start your relationship put it in god's hand first if you don't want cheating and all that start your relationship with god let god help you make the right choice of a partner let God make you help you make the right choice of a guy, a, a lady you want to be with. If that lady is in love with God, if that lady knows God, he might he might not cheat on you. Even someone that doesn't know, just try help. Let God help you make the right decision. You won't end up with someone that is a cheat because it's so heartbreaking when you're with someone and then they start cheating on you or you find out that you are not the only one they have been with. I know that. Mostly in this uh, time, this our uh, generation, it's just it seems it's normal now. Like cheating, it's, it's no, it's no, it's no any other thing again. Now. It's normal. It's just like our thing. No, it's not our thing. It's not everyone that cheat. And I believe that if you are really a respectful person, if you are really a very mature person, trust me, you will never cheat on your partner. If you are mature. You will be able to control yourself if you are mature you'll be able to let yourself know that it's not everything that the eye sees that the mouth will taste it's not everything that the eye sees that the hand must touch you should be able to control yourself know that okay this this is a feeling like you should be able to know that feelings some feeling feelings are mostly real but they are not always true that you cannot just if you have this feeling that oh follow this person again you follow you should be able to control yourself make a right decision cares guys make the right decision someone that won't cheat a mature person a person that knows god a person that loves god will not cheat on you i know most people will be laughing that ah that one is just forget that thing trust me if and if you really care about your partner so much you won't cheat on that person and then second Secondly, of the issue is dishonesty. Dishonesty like lying, not being real, not being true to that person. Guy, girl, if you are really, really, if you really, really care for that person, trust me, you will be the very one person that would always tell that person true. If you really love someone like you claim, you will never lie to that person. You will tell that person the truth, even if it seems it, it will hurt that person so bad. You will have to tell that person the truth because you care about them. As for me, if I'm in a relationship, any other any person I'm in a relationship, you should be able to tell me the truth. Even when people are lying to me, 
I trust you to tell me the truth. If and you should act right so you will be able to tell your partner everything. Trust me, people who say I don't owe nobody an explanation. Girl, boy, if you agree to go in a relationship with that person, if not for this generation, if you agree to go in a relationship with that person, then you owe that person an explanation to everything that he or she wants to know. So trust me, you should do the right thing so that you'll be able to tell 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 that person whatever when it comes to explain. You should do the right thing so that you will prevent yourself from lying. You should, it, this honesty is very bad. Lying to someone, that person might be trusting you, you will break that person. You might end up not trusting anyone again and you are just destroyed. Trust me, you think it's only one person that you I I, I, I lied to him or I lied to her and she decided to break up. He won't trust any, he or she won't trust anyone again. He might end up living a reckless life, living a bad life, just because of that dishonesty. Trust me, you will think that what is it? You might think it's nothing to you, but it means it means a lot to so so many people out there, and it causes so much harm out there. So please, when you are in a relationship, you should make the decision that you 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 are not going to be honest. You are not going to sorry. You are not going to be dishonest to this person. No matter what, try to be honest in your own way. So that you won't end up destroying. Trust me, you're destroying some a lot of the uh, generation because you lied to this one. You get her, his or her heart broken, and then that person will start with a broken heart and then not trust anyone again, feel bad, or be become dream in life. So please try to be honest. Like you have to do, just try to do everything. You see, relationship like just. Trust me, you are going to get married someday and you are going to be someone's father. You should imagine if that thing happened to your children or your, your siblings. And then you keep going from generation to generation. That is not the plan of God for us. So please guys, try to be honest out there. Try to do the right thing so that you'll be honest when it comes to being honest. Then uh, Ted. Uh, thirdly, relationship issues is lack of communication. When you are not talking out, talking with your partner, when you don't discuss about anything, that is where issue comes. That is most of the issue. And you, or maybe, let's say you talk, you just, hello, hi, how was your day? I love you, I miss you, finish. No, that's not the kind of, of communication we are talking about. Talk to that person about your life, about your future. I believe if you are together, you bring yourself together, you are dating in with them in mature mind. Because dating is supposed to be between two mature minds. If you are dating, then you are supposed to know that, okay, that day that you decide to be in a relationship, say yes to this person, is that day that you say yes, I am ready to be sharing with this person. Share your problem, share your issues that are disturbing you, what you like be able to talk to some to to your partner about mostly everything in your life as for me if i am in a relationship with you and you don't get to tell me anything mostly what you tell me is i love you i meet you when are we seeing when are we meeting when we meet we talk nonsense and i would think you have someone out there that you are telling and then that's why i'll I start shifting back because if i am the only person in your life you should be able to tell me some things I should be able to talk to you about something that should, you should be able to talk to me about some issues in your life. I think that is what relationships are meant for. To protect each other, to help each other make the right decision. To help each other make... To, they, they say that two heads are, 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 are better than one. You coming together, being in a relationship. I, I, I think or I believe that when you are in a relationship, you are supposed to be... Like things are supposed to be working for you better than when you were alone. You are supposed to help your person and make the right decision. You are supposed to talk to that person, like help him, he, he or she, like give him that you can do this thing. How can I do this thing? You are supposed to talk about everything. Don't hide anything. Because when you start hiding, when you start talking to someone else about your issue that is disturbing you, create that time for your partner, even though you are this kind of work work person. Trust me, you are going to be a father or a mother one day. And then if you don't start like training how to 
create out time for your loved ones, it will, it, it will be very bad. Because that is how things start these days. We don't, you, you, you grow into a parent that don't have time to talk to his children, and then the children get damaged by some people out there, get raped and all that. So you should be able to make out time. Start learning now. And if even you think, ah, me and see, I can't come and go and kill myself with someone issue. No! That day that I said I'm going to be in a relationship with this person, make out time for that person. No, if you can't make out time, then don't be in a relationship. Trust me, if you are in a relationship, I am telling you right now, it is a must you have to make out time for your partner out there. You have to start doing it now. So when you grow old, you will find it difficult to make out time for your children, talk to them, play with them, joke with them. So this is the time now for you to start learning how to make out time for your loved ones. Talk to that person. Even you walk, 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 have now. You are not the only person out there that walk. Girl, make out time for your guy. Talk to th that person. You won't end up getting attention because there are so many people out there. They're just a little space that you give your partner, they'll just enter. Trust me. If we make, like, talk to that person always, there will be no way that you'll be calling another person to gist about. You have, you have become that person gist me. You have become that person best friend. That will give you, since it's, everything is all about you people, it will be very difficult for that person to cheat on you. Trust me, try it and see. When you keep giving life, you are always talking to each other, if not every day, but so, when you want to talk, you talk about everything. Trust me, if that person is doing the right, wrong thing, he, will miss, he or she will mistakenly talk about it with you. And then you try and figure it out. So communication is very, very Good in a relationship. Lack of communication destroy relationship very bad that we not even know. If you don't start planning or start training how to make out time for your boyfriend, your girlfriend, trust me, you find it very difficult. You think I ah, when when I have children, that is when I no. You you claim you love this person, so you have to make out time for them. If you you will not be able to, then try to make them understand. But but you have to. That is why I say it that if we are in a relation, the right time for you to be in a relationship is when you are mature. At that time, you won't give an excuse. You should be able to know how to figure out some things to make out space, make out time for your girl, for your guy. So please, relations uh, in a relationship, communication is really, really, really needed. Uh, number four. I said first, cheating is the relationship issue. Second, dishonesty. Third, lack of communication. Uh, fourth, perfection. Perfection is in the sense that you think that this person has to. You should know that we are all different. We operate different. We think different. That's why I say you should know what you want. You should know, have it in mind that we will not be the same. It is not what you really think about yourself. It's not how you really think that this other person will think. So always know, have it in mind that perfection is not part of human. We are human. We are not perfect. Perfection is not part of us at all. Being perfect is not in human. Okay? So you should try to know, know that that person will not be perfect. And you have to take it like that. That person will never be perfect for, be perfect with everything. But you should know that this is issue. But I know that perfection is not part of human, and I'm going to deal with it. And then fifth, comparison. Comparison, you in a sense that you compare your boyfriend, you compare your girlfriend. See, see this person. See what he's doing for her boyfriend. See this person, see what she, she, he, he's doing for his girlfriend. Don't compare. If you really, guys, this is it. If you really, really want a successful, a good, a real relationship that will lead to a good place, that will get married and all that, please don't compare your partner with anyone out there. You, you, you came to me. You didn't see that person before you come to meet that person, the, the other one that you're talking about. So please don't compare. If you can't deal with it, 
talk to this person that okay girl i don't like what you are doing i want you to stop i want you to do like this not compare him, him or she, he or she that this you see what this person is doing and you're not no don't don't ever stop it if you are comparing stop it don't compare your guy don't compare your lady with anyone out there if you don't like what that lady is doing guy talk to her I'm sure you walk up to her because you, you claim you love her. And if you love someone, you talk to them. If you love someone, you talk to them about what you think it will help them and it will help you to do. You too. Try to make that person understand why you should not do this thing. Why you don't like this thing. Talk to that person about that. That's why I say communication is very, very, is really needed in a relationship. So please, guys, stop comparing your partner. Even if you are not in a relationship yet, don't compare. Just tell this person, girl, I don't like this. This is why I don't like it. This is why you have to stop doing it. If you don't stop doing it, I don't think we can go ahead. Simple as that. And it will stop so many things that were supposed to come. It will stop cheating. It will stop dishonesty. It will stop so many things that issue that is supposed to come in a relationship. Talk to your talk to them, them. Tell them why they should not do this. Tell them why you don't like it. Tell them what you don't like so that they will not end up doing it. So you will not compare. So you will not compare to this. See this person. See what he's doing. You should be able to know that no one is perfect. They are not the same with that person out there. You don't know what that person is doing. Be on your own. Name. Don't compare. Appreciate your partner. Be be, be grateful to that person. Let that person know that you care, care about them. Let that person know that that love that they are saying, I love you, is really from my heart. Sometimes we don't believe this words. Trust me, me, I don't believe what well, like, I love you. I know it's real. Like, I don't know it's, it's normal. Like, I can come and tell you, like, this, I love you. This, this day is just like greeting, you know? So when you say you love this person, I trust you too really really show that person that i really love you that is why i want you to do this that is why i want you to go to school that is want, why i want you to face your study that is why i want you to start planning your future when you are still young that is why i want you to work be a hard working person i am not telling you to work so that you will bring all the money to me i just want you to be a hard working person because i love you i want people to see you succeeding because i love you if not that if you that we these days, oh, don't worry, that one will be another part that we'll talk about, another video. We claim that we love, but we don't show it. Trust me, if you really, really care for that person, love that person as you think. Cheating will not be, hey, it's normal thing. Because people are doing, no, it will not be a, your thing. Because I trust and I believe that there are some people out there that see you this day, they don't cheat. Even you cheat on them, it's better to just let you go than to cheat on you you understand so please guys don't compare your partner just tell them what you don't like what you want them to do what you think they should do if they can do it if they cannot and you cannot cope with that you then leave than to start cheating or doing all kinds of things then lastly what i think is relationship is not valuing each other the girl don't value the guy, the guy don't value the girl, and then issue starts coming. If you truly say you love this person, you care about this person, this person is like the top notch for you, it's your number one. Then you should be able to value that person. Value in the sense that you do so many important things for that person. It's not like buy buy her bushy bag, buy buy this person best before you, you they know you value them. No. Do a little thing for them, pray for them. You value this person that you take this person to god pray for this person god help this person to succeed value this person that even they they, they might be guys mostly we young people this this thing that it's all about bringing getting big big things as for me there are some things that i want you to do for me it's just a little thing but just do it in a special way that it will melt that person heart. Trust me, these days we don't really know how to show love. That's why we keep having issues. See the rate of divorce out there. Guy, girl, I brought this issue up because I really, we, we don't need to keep doing this. 
people are doing so many mistakes out there because of lack of little thing that you think it doesn't matter there are some little things that matter to some people a lot if you know this person if you love this person try to figure out what this person really wants value that person as much as you pray for this person you do a little thing in a surprising and in a sweet way for this person that will make this person stick to you trust me there are some people that is lack of so many things that push them into cheating lying and all that if you really find out when you get into a relationship i believe there should be that communication forget this i love you i can't stay with. no tell what you want if you make a decision why some someone they, we always start something because there is something we want to achieve at the end of the day we don't just jump into it because we don't we just want to be there so you should be able to tell yourself what you need in this relationship figure out this is my kind of person you should be able to know that person before you even get to i believe that when you are asking someone out no as i, I don't hide I show you my real self so that way you if you can cope with me you can if you can't you go it's better than for us to keep pretending keep pretending we may mistakenly get married and then our character start showing and then boom we start producing children from a bitter home that will come out if we, if a, a child produced from a bitter home will come out very bitter then I spread that bitterness to so many innocent people out there and then with everyone start getting bitter and start being mean because of one mistake of two or three people so please you should be able to value your if you say you really really this is a relationship for you value your partner that you talk to them that you make out time for them that you pray for them you help them with some little things there are some things that you don't even need money to do to that person like okay you went to class today how is it maybe he's having an issue if you are this person that knows about the subject you might help he or, he or she and figure out the, the problem that is you've done it it is this time that we think that is buying buying good things buying dress for this person giving the person money to show that it's just the best don't know we put this mentality into our head that most of us think that it's everybody no we are not the same Yes, this person might want clothes, clothes. Just figure out the kind of this person first. So I advise, before going into a relationship, make out what you want to want in that relationship, known to that person. Then he or she will make it out to you like, this is what I want to. If you if you will be able to make it up to that person, fine, go into a relationship. But if you don't, you can just be friends. I know some people out there will just pretend like, that, yes, don't worry, I can do it, I can put up, it's not now. If you say, no sense, okay, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll, but before you know, they start complaining. So be true to yourself. Let's stop killing our generation with so many decisions that we, we think it's not important. It's it not this thing, it's not small, I like, know. That is how it starts, and then you, you keep growing and keep growing, you keep destroying children, and then every decision that we make, trust me, in every decision that we make, there is a responsibility that comes with it. Every decision. If you make decision to lie, there is a responsibility that comes with it. If you make decision to tell the truth, there is a responsibility that comes with it. So you out there, if you don't want issue, if you don't want all this cheating, this honesty, lack of communication, not being real, not being caring, not valuing, not comparing, then you should start with figuring out what you really want in a relationship. Figuring out what the other person wants in a relationship. So you end up not crushing each other relationship. So guys, this issue of divorce, even though divorced people out there will just girl will break up today would want to kill herself a guy will break up today want to kill himself for us to prevent all this issue that is why i am bringing up all this relationship talk so please guys 
make sure you make the right decision because before getting into a relationship i know people are doing it you want to do it you want to explore you want to let people know that yes you're a big boy you can have a girlfriend you want to know people know that you're a big guy a big girl you can have a boyfriend it's not all about that you should remember that that there's a responsibility that comes with it and it might end up destroying you or the other person if it not destroy you, you two it might destroy someone out there you might destroy your children to come just know that any decision that we are making today there are, there are responsibilities that are coming with us even if you know it was that very moment it will definitely come so please guys try to make out the right decision when you want to be in a relationship relationship is a serious thing because it's from relationship that we get into marriage from boyfriend and girlfriend that we get into marriage and then when we get into marriage and then we get to give birth and then when we give birth out when we are not the right people and then we produce people that are children that are not right and then they come into the world and then they keep destroyed and at what we end up being bitterly and bad that that's not god's plan for us that's why that was wasn't why we were sent to this state to come and do so please guys because it's it is it's normal thing people are doing it does not mean that you should do it try to be different by trying to figure out your own relationship thing don't let someone think for you don't let your friend decide for you that ah guys normal thing about do this and then let that person go say this and let that person go no be very strong mature to make the right decision so that you won't end up hurting someone so guys please that's it for relationship issues and some of the solution so please guys comment about some issue that you think it is a relationship issue that you think is affecting this generation comment down below or what you think is affecting that i didn't talk about so that i might talk about it in my next video so please guys help me help me help me help me help me subscribe to my channel comment like share tell your friends about it help me i am a new youtuber so there are so many things that i don't know about that you have to to help me.